Peace. It's Elisa or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello. I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening or night, whatever time it is that you are watching this video. Uh, welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're coming back. I really appreciate that you're taking time out of your day to take a look at my videos. Um, your support has been... Um, been a blessing I didn't know I needed so thank you so much now I have another unboxing here for you as you can see here this is a customs form so this diamond painting in this box is from Mooney Maid uh, she did another drop and this time she restocked uh, a diamond painting called Deity of the Forgotten that is one I'm sorry you're gonna hear some noise here I never do it in a straight line. Um, I, I knew I had to have the image because it has 12 crystals in it. Like, what? So I knew I had to have it. When I saw that she restocked it, I took the plunge and ordered again. Um, and here she is. Let's take her out of the box. So Mooney Maid always packages her diamond paintings with complete care. Like, she took the time to add this extra tissue paper. That's just, it's not necessary. It's just nice. Um, so her packages will always come nice. Now let me actually make sure the invoice isn't showing my uh, information. I'll actually reuse this tissue paper. Now for this one I ordered another dust sleeve because um, it's just, I think it's good to have. It's a nice quality. I could store diamond paintings in this. I could probably store a few if I rolled them together. She has, um, now are they all purple? I think they're random colors. I think she has different colors, but the two that I have now are this purple color. It's a nice sturdy bag with uh, her printing on it. What else came in the box? So she always sends this little thank you card. Those are her shop colors. Always thank you on the back. And there's usually always some sort of goodie in the box that you don't expect. Here's her business card. I think it's one of the most beautiful business cards I've seen. I love the colors. And then here's her info on the back. Her website is moonymay.com. That's where you'll find her trade drops and her diamond paintings. Also, she does do some cross-stitching stuff as well. Her Instagram handle is moonymaidwithlove. Twitter at moonymaid. Twitter is where she does announce shop drop things. So on the day of drops, if she's making any changes or anything, Twitter is where you'll hear about it first. And then she has a Facebook group as well. Or Facebook page, I should say, moonymaid. And then she also has a Facebook group too. Um, and then YouTube, moonicorny.com. And then she sent this cute little, little, um, looks like a moose in a little Easter egg. That's cute. She always sends a nice little gift. It's just taking an extra step uh, to make customers feel uh, a little bit special, which is always nice. I think when I owned a small shop, that's the thing I love the most is sending, deciding what little goodies I was going to send. So her diamond paintings come in this plastic dust sleeve as well. It is sealed shut, so you do gotta open the bag. Like it's not resealable. All I do is if I if I really want to close it after I've opened it, I just do this and put a piece of tape down there. It doesn't need to be resealable. In fact, I actually throw this away now because she um it came in that purple sleeve. Now it comes wrapped in a nice with a nice bow, and she has a nice little tag here. So let me take that off so we can look at it a little more closely. So this is the artwork. Deity of the Forgotten by artist Femke Debra. Um, it is a darker image, and it is a mermaid. Let's unroll this thing now. It's rolled nicely, you can see. I think, yeah, you can see in the camera, there's absolutely no creases at all. It's not crushed anywhere on the ends or anything. Now I am going to roll this backwards. So let's take the stuff out of the middle and let me roll it backwards. Just bear with me here. It is poured glue and poured glue, you can safely roll backwards. You don't really have to. All it does is um, allows the painting just to sit a little flatter quick, more quickly. <laughs> My words are hard, you guys. It is the afternoon, and this is the third thing I'm filming in a row. 
I had a stressful morning with a stressful doctor and the mailman brought me all these gifts and I wanted to open them all. So here I am filming when I really should be drinking a coffee first. Here she is. Look at all that purple. Now she is big. Bigger, I should say. Bigger than I typically do, but... Um, I think she's gonna look gorgeous when she's done. And look at that glowing moon. Like you almost don't need to put diamonds down. It's so pretty, like the way that it's rendered and the way that her canvas is printed. I think you get a good appreciation of the artwork um, just like this, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna be moving this around because I don't wanna zoom out anymore. Mooney Maid at the top there's her branding. Now her canvas is a soft uh, felt backing scalloped edges you can see um, the canvas itself printed it is on a bit of a sparkly canvas in the top right here she has um, the model number of the painting the size so this is a 61 by 83 centimeter painting she has the original artwork thumbnail there and then she has a schematic on both sides so on the top right and bottom left which is really nice depending on where you're working on the painting so you can see that schematic um, at the bottom left here another thumbnail with the original artwork here's the name of it deity of the forgotten artist femke debra um, give her a follow on social media um, i like her art 61 by 83 centimeter and again, copyright by the artist and Mooney. Over here we have MooneyMade.com, that's the website. And then I like how she puts this down here, support the artist and has their Instagram handle. I think that's really neat. Let me take a look at the printing of the canvas. Now it is a thin plastic film on it and her glue is sticky, nice and sticky. Now let me hold this up here. So as you can see, it's printed clear. These arrows for some reason are making, tripping my eyes up, but they're printed very clear and it's a nice white background on, or a white symbol on a dark background, which makes all the difference. I'm not seeing anything that um, is hard to read. I don't know about you guys, let's look here. The moon, you can see there how clearly it's printed. The thing that you can notice about her paintings is that it's charted really well. Like, especially, like, look at this moon. Some paintings that you may get from some small shops, this moon is going to come entirely made of confetti for no reason at all. But look at that. It's been hand charted. So it's almost all one color with a little accent in there, which is probably an AB. Yeah, I was right. Like, look at that charting. Um, I'm not a confetti person. You'll hear me say that a lot. I like color blocking and I I especially don't like confetti that's not necessary. But I've noticed with the other two mini made paintings I, I opened and I've actually started working on the little one hang in there, which is a little bumblebee on the flower. Um, the charting and the placement is top notch, top notch. Even in the tail here, it's hard, sorry, it's hard to manipulate a canvas like this. It's brand new. Um, even in the tail here, like it's color block. I consider, I still consider this color blocking. Like it's, so it's going to move relatively quickly, which I like. I don't like spending four hours on one little section. So I think it's been charted wonderfully. I can't stop looking at her. Now the most um, exciting thing is going to find out where, where all those crystals go. Let me show you that schematic. So we have numbers here, one to 47. At the bottom, we have 1AB, 5200, but then look at this. Number 30, uh, 34, all the way to 46, is a crystal. C, that means crystal. She has 12 crystals in this kit. I can't wait to see where they where they are. Now, with Money Made Kits, you're going to get this lovely info paper. Um, I'm not going to read it. I read some of it in my very first unboxing of hers. So you can take a look at that or take a screenshot. She does uh, offer just kind of like an intro and some steps to diamond painting. She has some of her shop policies on the back. The one thing that I think is really special that she's uh, made clear is that here about reselling, that they know that, you know, people are going to de-stash, but if they catch anybody intentionally selling paintings uh, for a much higher cost, um, 
specifically here, I'm just going to read what she says. If we suspect that your intent is to purchase and resell at an inflated price when it's out of stock, they won't hesitate to ban you from future purchases. That just goes to show you how much she cares about her customers. She knows that her, her stuff sells out fast and she wants people who really want to do the diamond paintings uh, to experience them. So I think that's a nice little, a nice little shop policy that she, um, she made. Now, if you have any constructive criticism, if you've worked on one of her kits and you think, you know, there's, there's an area for improvement, she's totally opening to hearing, hearing about it. Of course, constructive criticism, right? Um, these are her, I think this was one of her second, second run of diamond paintings. She has this big sticker sheet on 8x11 paper, her Mooney made. Deity of the Forgotten is the name of it by the artist. There's the original artwork there. A lot of beautiful shades of purple. It is a round diamond painting, which I'm really excited about. The one I'm working on now from her hang in there is also a round. Her rounds are amazing quality and they fit amazingly on the canvas. It is 61 by 83, so a little bit taller than I like, but I'm going to persevere. Again, here are her stickers. Now, what she does is she, um, let me just pull one off here. So she has this already cut out. So you get the symbol on the DMC. And then off to the side here, I don't want to lose that one. Now off to the side here, she actually also has it. So you can just put the symbol on whatever container you're using. I think that comes in handy with those Tic Tac containers or the round circle containers. I personally am actually going to cut this whole thing out and do it. I like having the serial number also on my baggies when I kit up because I I then, once I kit up into baggies, I have them in like a rectangle container and I like them one to whatever in numerical order so that I can look at my schematic, know that I, I'm, I'm going after... Um, you know, the, the R, which is number 15. So I know exactly where in my container I need to reach for the diamonds instead of looking through for the symbol. So that's just what I do. I actually like using the serial number. I think I'm a minority. <laughs> Most people don't because it trips them up. That is one thing I'll mention that you, you do have to be careful if you are going to cut out this serial number. Um, why most shops or why most people don't even look at that is because you can see here so serial number 17 is symbol number number eight so that can trip you up especially when you have um, multiple symbols on the canvas um, so just be wary of that if you are going to look at the serial number two that you are you're not mixing it up with the the symbol if it's a number if that makes any sense at all let me just stretch my back for a second it's a little bit difficult to film here because the bed is a bit lower, but um, I get, we live in the one bedroom apartment and there's not a lot of natural light, but in the bedroom here, we get, we get good lighting. Now I am not going to pull every one of these out and look at them. You can take, take a look on this screen. Um, lift, no, I'm not going to lift it up. It's going to fall out. You can see there's lots of dark colors, dark blues in here. Nice royal blue. There's a bunch of shades of purple and some pinks. And then we got lots of crystals over here. So the crystals I am going to look at. And there are ABs in here too. I see. Is there one AB? How many ABs are there? Two? 5200. One of these, AB? No. Well, there it is. There we go. So I'm going to move these to the side. Here's another kind of close up look at the colors. If you can see them, lots of pinks, some greens, some blues. Here are our special diamonds. So let's look at these. AB211. Again, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which means Northern Lights. You're going to see that shiny coating reflect all sorts of colors that you see in the Northern Lights. It's a nice, uh, nice special diamond to enhance paintings. I'm looking at my schematic. It is the slash sign. Now this painting is big, so it may take me a minute to find it. I did not look prior to hitting play. So we have some of this purple AB in her eye, in her earrings. Looks like in some of the streaks in her hair on the side there. We've got um, that AB all in the moon here. 
not this whole pink part, but the inner part. It's charted all the way around, and you've got a lot more on this side. Let me just see if there's anything down below off camera. I don't think so. So I think the majority of this pink, or I guess it's purple. What am I, why am I saying pink? Purple, light purple AB. It's going to be up in here. So around the moon, in her eyes, in her earrings, in some of her hair, and down here too. Okay. Now the other AB is 5200. There's not a lot of this one. This is a white with the AB coating. Um, 5200 is a check mark. So you're going to see this white AB sprinkled throughout the moon. There's a few check marks every so often in the moon. I'm also seeing a few check marks in her hair. Just, just a few sprinkled throughout. In her earring, I'm seeing a little bit of check marks as well. And I don't think it's anywhere else on the canvas. It's not much, as you can see. So it's mostly kind of in the moon and in her, in her jewelry. Now these crystals. So let's see what colors we got. We've got C209. So it's like a pink color. I hope you can see that okay. Number 36 is the three dots. Three dots. I see. So if it's hard to tell around around her, I'm going to pop up the original image again. These these I think they're leaves. I don't think they're flowers. Or are they crystals? Actually, they're crystals. That's cool. Um, so crystals along uh, the perimeter. So that's where you're going to see some of this this number 36 crystal um, in some of these crystals in a crystal. <laughs> The three dots and anywhere else, yeah, in the crystals down here too. Down here off camera, down in this crystal here, you'll see some of them. Again, I am just quickly skimming this. You'll see some through here as well. And then throughout the crystals on the left side too. So it's a good sprinkling of this one throughout. 37 is the Y. There's less of this one. It's a lighter pink. And I imagine a lot of these crystals are going to be in the crystal. The crystals in the perimeter is where I'm going to see them. Um, if my eye can't pick up the color quickly, then I'm going to... Oh, there's some over here. So there's some of this pretty lighter pink in, in the crystals over here. And then, yeah, up in these crystals, there's just a sprinkling. Not much of it, as you can see. 4200 is a blue. 4200. <laughs> number 42 is a blue, um, which is an A. Where is that? The big A is not jumping out at me. I know it's in here somewhere. Is it down here? It's not jumping out at me. I'm not going to spend forever um, looking for it, but somewhere in this canvas there is this pretty blue. A few of these sprinkled in. 41 is a nice light pink. 41 is J. Again, you're going to see the, the, this nice, light, bright pink in, in the crystals. 39 is a really deep purple. Very, very deep. 39 is D. So much purple in this canvas. It's not jumping out at me. I know if Mooney Mae's watching this, she's probably yelling at me. It's over there. It's over there. It's in here somewhere. I don't want to spend forever. Uh, this is a very pretty purple. I like this one. 38 is a small letter T. Now, I did see that. So, yeah, that one's in the crystals here. So, um, up here, too. You're going to see some of them. Off to this side. Not up there, though. A little bit in here. Very excited to see how this, another purple, how this comes together with these crystals. Because they're, they're small amounts of different shades sprinkled everywhere. So I think it's going to give a really nice, um, a really nice outline. And I think a lot of them you're going to see in the actual crystals, crystals surrounding her. Uh, 34 is another pretty blue. Um, we've got another shade of blue here. Blue, purple, this is a nice purple. There's more of these. And another pink. So lots of little crystals sprinkled throughout this and a few ABs, so that's pretty neat. I'm excited to work on this one.
I like working on paintings with darker colors um, because you don't have to be so perfect with your placement, you know. If you got a little rogue drill um, that's a bit uneven, it's not going to, you're not going to notice it. So I really like working with darker paintings. So I work on them a little bit, I think, at a faster pace because I'm not as careful. The only part I'm going to be super careful about is the moon so that it um, looks nice and even because that's a lighter color. Lighter colors can show the imperfection a little bit more. The one thing that I might I might let her know. Now again, my eyes are not great anymore, and I think it has to do with some of the the problems with my nerves that I have. But um, some of the symbols here in her body are black on a, kind of a darker background, and because there's so many purples, like especially in here, there's K's and twos. It's gonna, I think it's gonna be a lot easier to see with a light pad on, but if you don't use a light pad, you're gonna have to kind of squint a little bit. So I might recommend maybe um, changing those symbols to white. It might just be a little bit easier to see. Down here, it's not so bad because you have more of a, a gradient shift, so you can see it a little better, but. Otherwise, it looks perfect. Another great rendering. I love how there's lots of color blocking in this one. So I think it's going to move relatively quickly. Um, also, um, I've, I've worked on one of her kits or started to. So I know that the quality is great. So it's not frustrating to work on. I'm really happy with my purchases again. If you do shop for Mooney Maid, if you're in Canada, choose the USPS option, okay? Um, she can't send it UPS but at a cheaper way. It um, it can get her in trouble business-wise, right? So for Mooney Maid, you need to choose USPS and um, the cheapest option, which I think is first class. And it will come out to, I think when I ordered this one, like it quoted me... 50 or 60 something, I can't quite remember. I'll put the info up on the screen. And then she did refund a little bit uh, that was extra. Now the reason why shipping is so expensive uh, is because um, their postal service started charging, I think it's like an extra $30 for an oversized package, which diamond paintings, because of how tall they are, usually always fall in that oversized category. So that's why shipping has gone up a crazy amount. Um, it's no fa no fault of the small shop owners, uh, which I feel really bad for because I think it's limited their business. Because, you know, I can't order from small shops, you know, frequently and pay shipping like that. So I do like to support them when I can. Um, if you like an image on MooneyMade.com, I would recommend getting it. I'm happy with the quality. Both her squares and rounds. Um, one of the paint other paintings I unboxed was a square and it looked great as well. Um, so I do recommend her be prepared to pay some duty uh, when when the postman does drop it off. Um, this one I had to pay twenty dollars, I think. No, it said sixteen. This one I had to pay sixteen. This package just came with this one diamond painting, and the duty was sixteen fifty three. So not too terrible. I've had worse, um, but I do recommend uh, trying her out if you haven't. I'm excited to see what else she comes out with because I really really love her rendering style. Um, I think whoever she has helping her chart this is amazing at their job so i'm um, really looking forward to seeing what what else she comes out with in the future that's it for this unboxing so until next time happy diamond painting and see y'all later bye